Hello, and welcome back to another tutorial from the team at Trace Labs. In this video, we're coming hot off the heels of our award-winning introduction video, how to set up the Trace Labs OSINT VM, and we're gonna jump right into a tour. I'm gonna show you around the VM, some things we've set up to hopefully make your lives easier, along with a few things that, you know, we as a team have found useful. So just trying to give you an understanding of the system, maybe understand our thought process and how to get the most out of it. So to start off, the updater button. Whenever you log into your system, especially for the first time, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and give this a double click. It's gonna ask you for your password, which at the time of this recording is OSINT. And away we go. So what this is doing is it's trying to update all the different tools that we've installed for you. And then at the very end, it's actually going to do a pseudo APT update and pseudo APT upgrade. So it's attempting to update and upgrade all the different tools we included, as well as the base system itself. So we'll give this a second to update. And Yours might not go this fast. I think I have a good deal of my Linux box dedicated to this virtual machine right now. It might go a little bit slower. Um, but now we have the tools were upgraded, if they were able to be upgraded. And the, um, the underlying Kali system is upgraded as well. So now this is an updated operating system. That's always the first thing I like to do whenever I jump in here. Next, let's go and look at some of the applications that the team has preloaded onto this operating system for you. Up here, you're gonna find your menu. And we've organized the applications by intended use. So if you head down to social media, you'll see Twint and Instaloader, for example. If you're not sure what these tools are, hover your mouse over them and a helpful window pops up. So Instaloader, Instagram OSINT, Twint, Twitter OSINT, and they're organized by intent. So usernames, what's my name in Sherlock, domains, sublister, downloaders, so on and so forth. We're not gonna go through every single tool. That might be the subject of a future video. But let's just click on one and see how it goes for us. Social media, Twint. What it's doing right now, it's gonna open up a terminal and it's gonna run that program with the dash H or the dash dash help option. So it's not actually running the program for you, it's instead trying to pull up the help file that will let you know how to use the program. Up here at the very top of these help files, you'll usually find, hey, here's how you use me. In this case, Python 3, Twint, and some options. You'll see dash H or dash dash help is one of them. They're usually sorted by popularity. So in the case of Twint, the most popular one's probably gonna be dash U and username. So let's just try that functionality down here at the bottom. So it said we need to do Python 3, Twint, and an option. We'll just do dash H for help and see what happens. Uh-oh, no. Okay, this is not a bug, it's a feature. What the team has done, they've gone through and tried to make your lives as easy as possible. Like we don't even want you to have to know that this is a Python 3 program. So every single application in this menu, in the case of, you know, Twint, Instaloader, these can all just be referenced by their name. So in the case of Twint, dash H, there we go. So we've tried to make this as simple for you as possible. Um, if you're ever curious what exactly is going on here, um, all, all those files live in USR bin Twint, and you'll see it's just a shell script that kicks off Python 3 and then the path to twint.py. And then it passes in whatever other arguments into twint. Um, 
we're, we're just trying to make your lives as simple as possible. You don't necessarily need to know that it's a Python program. Just know that it's Twint. And the process I just explained to you should apply to every single application in the VM. Next up, and what I feel is the most valuable part of the entire virtual machine, open up a web browser. We offer you a few different ones. There's Chromium, Firefox, and Tor. Um, you can either open up Firefox here or just click on the link from the desktop. And this is the first time, oh, this is not my first time running it. We'll start a new session. The default is gonna load up the Trace Labs page. Cool. And from here, OSINT bookmarks. This place is a gold mine. These are all web resources that either you all as a community have submitted or us as, as a team have found value in. And again, much like the menu, they're organized by intent. So social media tools, Twitter, here are all the different Twitter you know, web resources that we know of or that you all have submitted. Facebook, Instagram, so on and so forth. Username check. There's my favorite. What's my name? Um, this is a really, really great resource because so much of people OSINT happens in a web browser. So, you know, if you're trying to use this for maybe a search party CTF, I think you're going to get a lot more use out of these bookmarks than you are maybe the tools that are packaged up with the system. But again, this is intended to be an overall OSINT system. So those tools do have their place. But if your focus is just people OSINT, I mean, look at all these phone number resources. This is huge. Email search. Um, this is just amazing. And this list is going to grow and change and evolve with future releases. And that's probably worth calling out that, you know, we, we, we went in when we first logged in and we did this updater. All this is really doing is updating what's already here. It's not going out and actually checking for changes to the Trace Labs VM. It's just updating this system we have here in front of us. So it's going to update all of the installed tools and then it's going to go out to the Kali repos and see if there are any system updates there. So in order to take advantage of those new tools, you would have to download the latest version of the VM, install that and kind of start from scratch. But it's worth pointing out um, if you're kind of new to VMs, like this is a 100% legit operating system. You can add whatever you want in here. They are persistent. So this is going to function just like the computer, you know, that you're probably watching this video on. So if you do want to go into the terminal and just install whatever else you want to install, cool, it's on there, it's yours to use. Um, some other things worth pointing out is that shared clipboard is disabled by default. You can turn that on though, so that way you can you can copy and paste information back and forth from the Trace Lab system um, over to your host system. That can be useful if there's maybe just a piece of information in here that you want to throw over into maybe a Word doc or something or some other file that you're keeping your information organized with. Um, you can also turn on shared folders and that way you can share actual files in between the host system and your virtual machine. So that was the quick tour, y'all. Um, this is really cool. It's as organized as we thought we could make it. Please give us feedback. The only way this VM gets better is if you all tell us how to make it better. Well, that's all I have. I guess I'll see you at the next Search Party CTF.